Howdy y'all, here's truly Chronic Insomniac from the Florida Keys saying hello and doing a video blog at uh, about 2.45 a.m. on a very steamy 86 degree morning outside here in the, the tropics. It uh, doesn't really cool off much once we get in July, about 84, 85 is about as low as it goes at night. And average is about 95 in the day, and it'll be that way until sometime mid 10 of October when it'll start cooling off again. So you can betcha that I'll be hibernating here in the AC when I can. So, uh, anyway, I just kind of want to share some things that have uh, happened. We've had, uh, you know, Saturday was a kind of a laid back, kind of quiet day here. On a holiday weekend, we really don't do much with the uh, holiday, especially on the 4th. We kind of chill out because these islands down here get real crazy with traffic and people. So uh, we just chill out inside. And I usually use Saturdays to um, to reboot and recharge because uh, the older I get, the, the heat really is taking the toll on me. It gets harder all the time. So I usually take... Uh, Saturdays are kind of just a chill out and reboot and re-energize and everything. And we had a um, interesting thing that happened Saturday evening, some paranormal activity here in the house. Um, not the first time it's happened. It's been ongoing in this house for years. Uh, I had an event that happened the other night. Um... I give a extensive review of what had happened in another video blog I'll post on Sunday. But uh, yeah, it was kind of uh, it was kind of interesting what had happened, uh, to say the least. So I thought we uh, talk about a few fun things here tonight. It's my my sweet tea. I drink it by the gallon. That's all I drink. Um, gonna be you know probably why I'm up half the night all the time but uh, anyways um it was an uneventful Saturday except for uh, when the paranormal stuff happened Saturday night and that really livened things up quite a bit and uh, you know after it was about like nine ten o'clock I said to Randy I said yeah I should go out and get the mail because I thought what if my uh, prescriptions had arrived um, getting all those aches and pains it gets pretty chronic now, so, uh, you know, they prescribe me some pain pills that actually work. And they don't make you all loopy and crazy, but they uh, do kind of make you feel good, but takes the pain away. And I thought maybe the pills would have arrived in the mail. I thought, you know, I really don't want those in the mailbox all night long, especially, you know, you never know who knows goes peeking in mailboxes and stuff. So I went out to the mailbox hoping, hoping they'd be there because I'm getting really low on them. And I have to dole them out until I get the next prescription and got to tell the doc, I said, hey, you got, you got to give me more than what you prescribed. It ain't enough. And, uh, you know, it's one thing I can take safely and I can still drive and, you know, do all kinds of things safely. And uh, I don't have to worry about that. And they're not addicting. But uh, so anyway, the, kind of in the mailbox was this... Um, there's two pieces of mail today. One of them here was a uh, thing from a bill collector. Uh, I had a credit card that was um, $300 limit. and I don't know what happened. I got behind on it or whatever. And uh, now I'm getting like um, saying, oh, you owe $700 and from some law firm or something like that. Well, you know what? I ripped it up. It goes into the shredder. And eventually that shredded paper will go out into the compost and it'll be into the compost heap and uh, become compost. So, so much for that. The other thing was, uh, <laughs> the other thing was, um, oh, the envelope. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll shred that too. The other thing that came was, uh, was for, was for my partner Randy. And it uh, looked like a, well, let me hold it up here. Looked like a card. Uh, yeah, I didn't think anything of it. 
So I just hand it to him. I kind of tell it was like some kind of advertisement just by the way you see like this little, like, um, you know, stuff here. I thought it's got to be some kind of advertisement. And, you know, regular mail doesn't have like this little barcode that you would get from a friend. But, hey, you know, I don't care. You know, it didn't, wasn't upset anything by it. So he opens it up and he's like, oh my God. He's like, what the fuck? And I said, what? I said, what'd you get? And he's looking at this card, and it uh, says, um, thinking of you, you know, thinking of you. And I thought, oh, I said, got a card from a friend. And he's like, yeah. And he's opened up, and he's reading it, and it says, and the good times that we shared. And you can see all the blah, blah, blah writing that's on there inside. Well, in there was is a coupon for... Okay, yeah, he's seen enough for <laughs> for naughty toys. <laughs> yeah, apparently we must have. Uh, I think we it was like one of the um, adult vids or something or something we ordered online, and I guess they sent this little thing like on your next how to something about your free whatever. And I thought, okay, so um. You know, that, that, I just laughed like hell. I said, I got to make a video about that. I said, your garden of, it's something like your garden of Eden or something. I was like, oh, Christ, you know, don't need toys. Got the real thing. Well, who the fuck needs toys, you know? So, anyway, I, um, that was kind of funny. And, uh, what's the other thing, too, is, um, it's quiet. So I'm able to sit here and kind of chit-chat with y'all. Gotta look down at my little buddy. A little, a little squirt. And that's the uh, min miniature pincher, or min pin, as it's called. He's uh, curled up under my desk in his bed. And uh, for a little seven pound dog, he, all his brothers and sisters have a hundred pounds on him. And yeah, they're Roddies and Black Labs and little seven pound squirt thinks he's a big dog he can run with the big dogs you don't stay on the porch mind you he runs with the big dogs and believe me he thinks he's a big dog and i was going to pick him up and show him to you but he's all curled up and sleeping so i don't want to i don't want to bug him he plays hard all day good little boy and uh just kind of sitting here it's kind of neat kind of looking out the window here i can see the uh Flashing from the uh, nocturnal thunderstorms firing up over the ocean. And I'm um, so glad that it's rainy season. And this past week we've gotten uh, five inches of rain. and Which I'm really glad because it was very, very dry down here. And with the 4th of July weekend and fireworks and all that people shooting fireworks off. I was quite a bit concerned for uh, fires. Especially around here with a lot of dry vegetation and everything. So... Uh, with all the rain, everything's pretty wet, so I don't have to really worry about that. And I'm glad it started raining, because it's just change weather. I kind of like when weather changes a little bit, you know. Get bored with sunshine day in, day out, and kind of, it doesn't cool it off any down here. It just doesn't cool off. <laughs> rain doesn't make it cooler in the Florida Keys. But, but um, it's nice to know it's raining, because it makes everything grow. So anyway, I think I'll end here and uh, say goodnight to y'all. And uh, look forward to the other vid talking about the ghosts and all that fun stuff. And uh, hope you enjoyed doing this little video blog with me. And uh, see you the next time.